In other stories, it is World Humanitarian Day and the United Nations is sending a message of honor to humanitarians who attend to saving and improving the lives of millions despite the huge challenges associated with the obligations. According to the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, they are the real life heroes doing extraordinary things in extraordinary times to help women, men and children whose lives are appended by crisis. He commended their response to the global crisis of COVID-19 and their commitment towards tackling humanitarian needs arising from the pandemic. This year, humanitarian workers are stretched like never before. They are responding to the global crisis of COVID-19. And with it, the massive increase in humanitarian needs from the fallout of the pandemic. This year, we celebrate them. People who are often in need themselves, like refugees, helping host communities, local health workers who care for the sick and vaccinate children, and humanitarians who negotiate access in areas of conflict to bring food, water, and medicine. They are the unsung heroes of the pandemic response, and they all too often risk their own lives to save the lives of others. Today, join me in renewing our appreciation and support for the brave humanitarian health workers and first responders who show solidarity and humanity in this time of unprecedented need. And here in Nigeria, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and agencies under it, as well as all UN agencies in Nigeria, are also paying tribute to aid workers, especially those who paid the ultimate price with their lives. In this, Moya Thomas takes us or takes a look at how they marketed the world or how they marked the World Humanitarian Day. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development is at the forefront of this year's commemoration of World Humanitarian Day in Nigeria, as it coincides with its first year anniversary. Over 79 million people around the world are in dire need of humanitarian assistance, representing about 1% of world's population. In Nigeria, over 7 million people need aid as the country battles one of the world's gravest humanitarian challenges as a result of the Boko Haram insurgency. It is 11 years since the UN General Assembly set aside the 19th of August as a day to commemorate and celebrate aid workers around the world. But humanitarian response in Nigeria, and indeed around the world, have become increasingly difficult. The outbreak of COVID-19 public health crisis has further compounded the challenge. In Nigeria, about 40 aid workers have been killed so far by insurgents, including the five that were recently killed. It is becoming very difficult for humanitarian workers to deliver on their responsibilities without having to face threats to their lives. This is the reason the UN agencies are clamoring for better protection for aid workers. To do all that is necessary to ensure that humanitarian workers are able to provide life-saving assistance to the most vulnerable, making sure that no one is left behind. 125 uh, were killed. Uh, 234 wounded, 124 kidnapped, in total, two, uh, in a total of 277 separate incidences. The lives of humanitarian workers in Nigeria were not spared either. ECOWAS Commission will continue its collaboration with member states and partners to promote the protection of humanitarian workers through policy implementation sensitization and advocacy. Um, the minister, Sadia Tomorrow Farouk, says a National Humanitarian Coordination Committee has been set up to improve humanitarian response in Nigeria. She acknowledges that there is a lack of coordination and trust in the northeast theaters of operation. This committee is going to deliberate on all these issues of the humanitarian workers, their protection, as I mentioned earlier, is of paramount priority and importance to us as a ministry and as a country uh, generally. And we are also working on a policy framework that will outline or address all these uh, issues. Analyze that and put in place risk mitigation measures. That, for instance, means that we minimize road travel to an absolute minimum. And we are then dependent on the World Food Programs administered uh, 
humanitarian air service to be able to move between locations. The theme for the 2020 World Humanitarian Day is Real Life Heroes, as 2019 has been marked the most dangerous year so far for humanitarian workers. Aid workers don't need to pay the ultimate price with their lives in the course of carrying out their work only if international humanitarian laws can be respected. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.